Hello there, in this video we're gonna be taking a look on how to make this arrow point at the cursor wherever it goes. First let's go to our Figma and copy the shapes as SVG. Go back to Rive and click Ctrl V to paste and it's gonna be on our assets here. Let's drag it to our scene. Let's first name our layers here. This is gonna be main arrow circle. Now we're gonna create a bone. Let's make the first one on the center and the other point at the edge of the arrow. This doesn't need to be here, you can also drag it wherever you want, but make sure this one on the center. Next thing we need to do is to drag our arrow to the bone right here. So what that does is uh, the bone now is going to control the rotation of the arrow. So, But what we need is the rotation of the arrow to follow the cursor position and to do so we need to create a group an empty group and let's first center it and we need to make this group drive the rotation instead so while selecting the group let's go to listeners and click on the plus button here let's delete the set and change the point enter to pointer move and then create a target a line target for the align target, we're gonna select the empty group. No, nothing happens. So we're gonna go to our root bone here and we're gonna use a constraint, IK constraint. This is like uh, After Effects when you are weakening a character and much easier. So we're gonna go to our IK settings and change the target to our group. Now, when we change the position of the, of the group, it's gonna rotate but what we need is uh, this to be following the cursor position instead of dragging the group itself so what we're gonna do next is to create a rectangle this rectangle doesn't have to be visible because it's gonna be act as a hitbox so we can hide it if you want to then what we're gonna do is go to our listener here and change this group instead to a hitbox now whenever you move your cursor the arrow is always pointing at it so yeah that's it for this uh, quick tutorial take care